we want to demonstrate the relation in the red box. This relation is called the thermodynamic equation of state because it relates the internal energy to pressure, volume and temperature, although it comes in a differential form. The relation is especially important because it solves the issue of finding an expression that is function of PVT for the derivative of the internal energy over the volume at constant temperature. In fact, the derivative of the internal energy over the volume at constant temperature is the only implicit term present in the first law of thermodynamics. Let us see where the thermodynamic equation of state originates. We start from three considerations. First consideration. As already said, we have one term in the first law of thermodynamics that is implicit and we want to substitute it with a relation that is function of pressure, volume and temperature. Second consideration. This term shows also in the expression for the differential entropy, being the differential entropy obtained from the expression for the heat coming from the first law of thermodynamics. Third consideration, the entropy is a state function and as such it respects the definition of perfect differential. In a perfect differential, the cross derivatives of the differential are identical. A comparison of the differential of heat and of the differential of entropy shows that the difference between the two is just in the term 1 over t. This term is an integrating factor for the heat. It turns the heat from a path function to a state function. The thermodynamic equation of state can be retrieved from the application of the definition of state function to the differential of entropy. Let us start from the differential of entropy. In this differential, we recognize a parallel with the differential z. In particular, the term m the variable x, that is the temperature, the term n, and the variable y, that is the volume. We can differentiate by following the definition of state function. On the left side of the equation, we have the differential over the volume of the quantity Cv over T at constant temperature. On the right side of the equation, we have the differential over temperature of the second addendum in the entropy differential at constant volume. Let us now develop each term fully. The term of the left side is composed by two differentials. The first is null, since Cv is a variable at constant volume, so it does not change with volume. The second is null true, since the quantity 1 over t is not a function of volume. The term on the right side is made of two parts. The first part can be developed further to obtain two addenda. One of which is null, since the derivative of the internal energy over volume at constant temperature is a constant in the temperature. We remain with only the second term that can be developed completely. The second part of the right side term is composed by two terms, two, that are easily developed. We now recombine everything we have got so far.
We take the differential of the internal energy on the left side and leave the other two terms on the right side. All addenda in this expression show the term 1 over t in common. Therefore, the left and right sides can both be multiplied by t. This simplifies the last expression, that is the thermodynamic equation of state. We have now an expression that makes the internal energy a function of pressure, volume and temperature.